Hello? I hear microphone is on mute. Yeah, I cannot hear you. Your microphone is on mute. So it's better now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, thank you. Uh, sorry for late. I was downloading Tencent meeting on my iPad. And oh, I see. Time to walk. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, good evening. My name is Teacher Carly Fay. And uh, yeah, what's your name? Can you tell me? Uh, yeah, my name is Leo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Leo. I heard that you are taking IELTS soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was such a, you know, that, that was a advantaging, yeah, advantage. Yeah. yeah, okay. I'm not ready, actually, but I still take it. Yeah, yeah may I know if it's uh, not too much? Um, <clears throat> may I know if uh why i mean uh, what is that ielts for you know because um i took an ielts for a reason and i also took pte for a reason and as far as i can remember uh we were asked during the time uh, i had my speaking why do i want to take the examination so i need to know from you two why do you have why do you need to take it uh, uh, I took it, I signed in because, just because I want to exam my English level and if probably I will, I would love to get a higher bar because, um, you know, in China we need, we need to do a high school, uh, no, a college entrance examination, you know. Ah, okay. Hard work, so it takes, a, it takes effort and it's painstaking, you know. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's it's very hard. It's like thousands of competitors, maybe millions of competitors. Competitors. And, mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I'm doing IELTS. First, I want to extend my English level because it's mm. not it's not that I'm going to use it currently and now, but I still gonna take it because I want to do a exam. Like I want to practice for it and motivate myself to learn English. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's uh, good to know. I thought you were going somewhere else. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if I can get a higher mark, that will be great. Yeah, because probably I will go somewhere else in in the future. You know, who knows? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I took it. Mine. I took it for a very, you know, a very important and huge reason. Uh, I wanted to go to. Um, New Zealand to pursue my career really? there as a teacher because I am a teacher here in our country for almost 12 years now and yeah and I am I have been an ESL tutor for an online tutor English tutor for for a, for a lot of years now already and I started 2000, 2017 that is why I was thinking of you know leveling up my career in pursuing my career to other country. So that's why yeah. I took it. Mm. And actually, I took the IELTS academic and sad to note that I did not reach my target score because I need seven for all skills, but I got a 6.5 in my listening. So uh, yeah, it's very painful. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry for that. Yeah. It's okay. And my speaking was very high. And Ooh. so when I knew that uh, I can take the PTE, have you heard of the PTE? Uh, yeah, they say mm -hmm. not the English. It, yes, a Pearson's Test English. Yeah. Yeah. PTE, yeah. Uh, when I took it, I only, I only, I, I need 65 over 90, but I reached 70 and above for all skills. And again, my speaking was the highest. It's 85 over 90. That's, that's a lot. How did you make it? <laughs> yeah, I studied a lot. I, I mean, I learned, yeah. I studied. And I was actually expecting to get higher in IELTS rather than PTE because 
since 2017 i get to teach um i get to teach ielts to different students of different levels um elementary right. intermediate something like that 5.5 6.5 and 8 and 7.5 so i was expecting to to take ielts one time but it turned out that i'm not even if i thought i mean even if i teach ielts i'm I am not sure about myself <laughs> when when I will be the one to take the examination. Why? But yeah. maybe because it was difficult because it's academic IELTS, it's not general. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm sure you're not. Yeah, I'm sure you're not taking the academic. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking academic actually. Oh, okay. Is, is, it, is, it, is it academic? Uh, so I just want to make it clear. So academic. Is for the people who is going to go abroad to study. Is that right? Mm, not really. Only if you are, if you are going to go abroad with a profession that is professional, for example, teacher and oh. nurse, something like that, and engineer. But you're getting the. I could, uh, IELTS general general track. If if you are a skilled worker, like for example, carpentry, masonry, butcher, oh, yeah. uh, butcher, um, welder, Def. yes, yeah. blue collar jobs. And I think if you are getting the visit visa, I mean a student visa, if you're going to be. Yeah. If go if you're going to apply there as student in other country, I think uh, you don't have to get the academic. You get the general track. Yeah, and and I think if you're planning to use it to enroll in universities, you have to get the academic. Do you get the academic? No. Oh uh, yeah, I signed, I signed for academic, academic. because wow. I, I know that academic. I heard so in TikTok, you know TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, yeah. I search it on TikTok, in Baidu, in in Bing, in the, the search engines, and they told me to do it, uh, to, to sign up the academic instead of general training. Yes. And and I have compared. So uh, I have compared academic and general training, and uh -huh. actually, in my opinion, uh, the academic is more about to test to exam your your uh, your learning your learning ability in English like you have to learn new thing in English and to solve problem use it to solve problem and I think it is a better way for me to uh, to examine yes, to yes. examine my English yeah so the first purpose is to examine my my English mm -hmm. so if I'm going to go abroad in in few years like in two years or or one year and I will take general training maybe again maybe academic again so. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to make it. So, do you have, do you have a schedule? Schedule? Uh, um, actually, no. Not I don't yet. have a schedule mm. professional for, for IELTS because I am a high school student, mm -mm. and I and actually the next year will be my final year. So oh. I mean, I mean, second grade in China, the high school have three grades, and the second grade, you, is uh, it's a grade that means you have to. You have to learn something to prepare for your final year because your final year is uh, most about the the stud is more about study studying about books and the the things that you have to do the the papers the exams and in this year I want to do it as quick as possible because yeah because next year maybe I won't have so much time to prepare so yeah, yeah. okay well. Uh, did you see the lesson material I sent you? Uh, yes. I yes. Have. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but I think uh, I, I want to know. Do you have the background of IELTS? Uh, may I beg your pardon, please? Uh, do you have already a background on what's going to happen on an IELTS test? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, there's there's four four st stages. Yeah. Mm, okay, because um, I have here uh some, you know, some practices. So I I I I want I don't want to use the book I sent you. Is that okay? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can do something way harder than that. And, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm. It's actually a mock test. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. That will be great. I, I'm glad to hear that because I thought it was a little bit easy, but. Yeah, I don't want to say it because it's like bragging myself, you know. Yes, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's start first in speaking. If we still have more time later, maybe I can also give you reading. Uh, listening, okay. listening. Listening is okay. difficult. The, yeah, listening is the difficult. hardest is the, is yeah. the listening. <laughs> yeah, only saying this once. And in China, in, in, in our high school entrance examination, they are, they are talking it again and again you know <laughs> yeah so it's hard for me to do it okay all right but okay so that's it. now you know i would like to share my experience at the first uh i got i had two days on my test in ielts first day the first day are the three skills first the listening the next the reading and then the writing and then mm -hmm. and on the second day is the speaking because we need to be in a in a in a room where only me and the, the examiner in the in the computer from the computer or from the other from the other end uh, are the only we are the only persons um, in I am the only one in the room and my examiner is at the other end of the computer so yeah. it has to be another day because on the first day the the listening reading and writing uh, you will be with the other takers. You will be in one room in a hotel, and then, uh, in my experience, we were in a hot in a in a how do I say that kind of room like a ballroom in a hotel, and then yeah. we are actually twenty eight takers. We take we took the listening, the reading, and the writing together, the twenty eight of us, and then yeah. on the second day we were scheduled like forty five minutes each um takers uh not 45 25 minutes each taker so we go to another another place for that test okay so in the ielts speaking it contains three parts okay okay each lasting about four minutes so for the first part four minutes and that will be um like like an introductory question and answer for the topic. For example, if the topic is travels and holidays or travel and holidays, there will be some questions about it. Like, for example, and the first part, do you like traveling? Uh, what, is your, what is your favorite type of holiday? What do you do on holidays? Are there many tourists visiting your country? So that's part one. Yeah, it's like, one question you answer one minute or less than and then th it, that depends on the examiner and then mm -hmm. on the part two you will also spend for like four minutes first minute your examiner will instruct you what to do second minute you are going to prepare for one minute the monologue that you're going to yeah the the, the, the examiner will tell you okay leo i will show you questions on my screen there, there will be some questions on the screen. You will have to prepare for one minute and deliver your monologue in two minutes. That's That makes it four. And on the third part, it's like a follow-up questions with the first and the second part. Like, for example, uh, why do you think tourism is so developed now? How people choose their destination? What kind of transport do you prefer on holidays? And do you prefer traveling alone or intergroup? So something like that. Okay. Oh, yeah. So those are the three parts. Okay, and then I want to I want to tell you on sorry <laughs> I want to tell you on how you are going to be uh, how how you are going to be scored. Okay, first is fluency and coherence. Okay, H how clear? Yeah. Yeah. How yeah, yeah how clear? and it's structured your speech is. To get a high score for this, you have to connect your sentences by linking words and sign points, okay? Oh, yeah. And then next is you have to extend your answers. But of course, if you want to talk more, that is should, uh, the, your answer should be relevant to details to the question. 
and speak smoothly and continuously avoid um, using uh, pauses incorrectly. You have to use pause or pausing correctly. Do not pause because you forgot or you forget what to say or maybe you don't know what to say next. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> it will yeah. make you, yeah, it will make, in, in, yeah, in PTE, actually in PTE, we are scored by the AIs. It's very unfair, you know. <laughs> Why? Why we're scored by AI? We're scored because by... in our speaking, we actually do not. In, we don't have face-to-face -face examiner in PTE. I, you will just go with the with the questions and, and answers provided by the computer, and there is no one you can talk with. So it's just like that and then the 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 ai will be the one to grade you <laughs> and oh, if yes. yeah <laughs> that's very unfair right i know and you know whenever you when the, whenever the ai hears you hears you talking uh, uh uh very very uh there are there will be a very big score difference no matter oh. how 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 good your content your content is if you speak like uh uh, mm, uh the, the AI will um, give you a very low no, I, I love you say that because you, when you are talking and you are thinking, you'll be... Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. right about that. Okay. So, and the second, the second one, the, you are great with your lexical resource. That means, how good is your vocabulary? <laughs> yes. And then, <laughs> to increase that one, you have to use a wide range of vocabulary. But but for me, it's good to use complex words. But if you cannot, then try to use simple words. Yeah, yeah. Because okay. you know, we have that too. Like you have to use high graded word, uh, word, <laughs> word. Yeah, yes. and sometimes I don't understand them, so I will try to try to make it clear instead of clear instead and of simple. A high level. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And discuss different topics freely using appropriate words. And again, be relevant. Okay. Okay, okay. And then you have to speak formally or semi-formal. Do not just say, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a Ooh, question and answer in two. job. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you are interviewed in a job, okay? Okay. okay. I, I yeah. would find that. <laughs> yes, and you, cho you choose words accurately. And if you can, use idiomatic language. That's a good point. Uh, yeah. Oh, idiomatic. Yeah, idiomatic language. For example, yeah. uh, I will give you an example like strike the iron while it's hot. What does it mean? Okay. Ah, uh, last time, oh, yeah. for example, you say, um, my my mom told me that she's going to she's going to buy me a ticket. Uh, we will have a travel. So, for uh, I I I struck the iron while it's hot. Meaning to say. Uh, since uh, there is an offer, I grab the opportunity right away. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then the third, the third way for you to be scored is your pronunciation. Yeah. Mm. Just how naturally you sound. You have to be natural in speaking. And okay. to increase for this one, you have to pronounce the words as clearly as you can. As possible, record your speech and work on the words that you spell incorrectly because you have to pronounce it well too. And then stress words and sentences correctly. Use correct intonations, okay? Like if you're happy, then maybe you're, you sound happy. If you're, yeah, yeah don't, sad, don't sound like you're mad or you're sad. <laughs> So, so make make the examiners uh, no make make the people who test you happy, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. And they will believe yeah. that you are if yeah, you they will also believe you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. And then the last one is your grammar. Okay, you will Ooh. be checked according to your grammar. How I'm good is your grammar, okay? Okay. To increase the score for grammar, you have to avoid, of course, grammatical mistakes, subject verb agreement. Yeah, try to use more advanced grammatical structures like fa passive voice, direct speech, different tenses, okay? Oh, but yeah. but but do not be so do not be so um conscious with 
the advanced grammar structures you just have to be simple and then yeah if you, you cannot do it you cannot do the complex grammar just try to make it simple mm -hmm. you know yeah. when i took the ielts uh, speaking is my high score and i didn't expect it because i stuttered during that time the good thing is that i was scored by a person not an ai <laughs> yeah so so i don't think a person a real person can 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 find your minor grammar mistake mm. like some mm. past tense like yes. yesterday i i drank some wine <laughs> that's uh wine. yeah i don't think they can recognize uh especially when you are speaking really fast yeah yes <laughs> that's right okay perfect okay yeah that's also the same with my observation during the time i took it <laughs> okay now very good very good so okay and later i will give you your marks now this time i want you to choose among these three topics that you, you would like to have in our mock test okay we are going to have a mock test okay. would you like to have friends technology or sport uh sport <laughs> sport okay good sport yeah. yeah but of course in 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 the real examination you cannot choose <laughs> Oh, yeah, so I'm okay. just a student. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to take exam. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah. Now, so let's start part one. Okay. Okay. What kind of sport do you prefer? Uh, I prefer the team sports most. And I really like soccer, basketball. I like to do sports with sports. But I don't really like jogging or lifting weights because I think they are boring for me. I see. Do you do any kinds of sports during weekends? Uh, yeah, I do, uh, I do a lot of sports in weekends, actually. I will, go, I will go play soccer with my friends and play ping pong is our national sport. And also basketball, uh, though I'm not a really good player, but I'm tall enough and strong enough, so I play pretty well. That's good. Now, tell me about your hobbies. Is there anything you like to do in your leisure time? Uh, yes, I have a lot of hobbies. Uh, I am a big literature fan and a big sports fan. Uh, every weekend, I will, sport, I will support my favorite soccer team in, in home and at home and watching their games on TV. And what's more, I will also play pianos, uh, play some piano, and do, and sing songs with my friends, go karaoke. And these are my all my hobbies. Okay, very good. Before I go to part two, congratulations, you're very good in speaking. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm nervous, you know, when, when I'm talking with you, okay, that's okay. But when it real happens, I become too, I can't talk up a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I observe it, but yeah, yeah I've observed it, but I was... Yeah, I was looking at you and I think that you're confident. And I think that, yeah, I observed that too. You said uh, you answered yeah. it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I've observed that. But for me, if I will be the examiner, yeah, I think you were just trying to think of what's going to say next. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. No. And your accent, it's far far from being chinese <laughs> yeah um, yeah I'm, I'm learning with foreign since very young so yeah my, my pronunciation is Good. better than uh -huh. average yeah, uh, yeah. that's right <laughs> it's okay <laughs> i know that you yourself can recognize your strength i know that you know your strength yeah, you just okay. have to you just i mean i think you just need someone or coach a teacher to uh, to at least guide you right yeah Mm. Yeah. Okay. So very good. Your your con continuous uh speaking and your grammatical range accuracy of your grammar is good. Your pronunciation is good, and then you. you also speak formally. Your lexical resource is also good. Your vocabulary there well, and then I heard you also um said what to more. That's very good. That's a good. That, you know. That's Ooh. a yeah <laughs> yeah. You that is actually yeah. can that can actually make your fluency and coherence big. You know, remember I told you to connect your sentences by linking words and sign points. What what's more, what uh what more is you know 
is a good mm -hmm. connecting word to your to 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 your transition of your speech or your monologue uh your answer is very good okay but Thank you. i just observed that uh we only had it for like three minutes it has to have four minutes but of course in the real examination there will be timer on top of the computer so you will be yep. guided that it's okay no, no no big thing okay now this time okay let's continue to part two the examiner will tell you all right um leo now this time leo i'm going to share to you my screen i will show you the task card for part two okay okay so in this part you are going to prepare for one minute and then you're going to prepare a monologue i'm not going to read those questions you are going to and you're, it's not necessary that you read the questions too. Okay. And while okay. you are taking this one, Leo, you will, the center will give you pen and paper. Okay. The center yeah. will give you pen. pen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Very good. Because okay. you will be given one minute to prepare for your monologue and then you can note those things you want to say or outline your the things you want to say for this part okay so i am yeah the time now is 28:50 uh, let's assume it's 29 so we will start at the 30th okay go okay Okay, Leo, your, okay. your minute has ended and let's, okay, I want you to, okay, wait, wait, <laughs> just wait there, okay? I okay. will, yeah, I will set the, so you can, you can feel uh, the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will so set how you. How much time do I have? Two minutes only. For the real examination, it's going to be two minutes only, okay? I will try to fool it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Why? Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. So that's, sorry, two minutes, okay? Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay your time starts now. Uh, the place that I visit to keep feet is the park near my home. Mm. Uh, the reason that why I always visit there because it's near my home, and I always visit there when I have spare when my when uh when my time is when my time is spare and maybe weekend maybe summer or winter vacation. Uh, I I try myself there maybe sometimes playing with my friends there, but most of time my friends they are studying or they are doing their jobs. So most times I just walking there with my family, maybe playing basketball or soccer by myself, or I just jogging and just sitting there for a whole day. Uh, the reason that I really love there, there are three reasons. Mm. First, I think it's close to my home, so it's easy to go there and won't need to cost the transport uh, transport fee and the second reason is that it's really close to nature mm. there's trees and the rivers they are really they really uh, make me energetic and i really like there and i really like to close to nature the third because it is free uh in china we don't have much place um, in city in urban place 
we don't have many spaces uh, that people can close with nature. The most places they are occupied by buildings mm -hmm. and maybe roads. And it's such a good place because I am living in urban and I think uh, the suburb will be such a good place for me to relax myself, to forget things, to forget stresses. And that's all. Thank you for listening. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> uh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm to, uh, next time I will write the, write the, I want to write the, the things like these. But, oh, I will, okay, okay. but I will write the things like first, the second, like what word uh, do I use? Like, Transition words, words, yes. Connecting, connecting, words. connecting, yeah. connecting words. words. Yeah. <laughs> At least you have already, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Leo. Now let's go to the thir third part. I will, I will tell you later on. Okay? okay. Yeah, because I want to tell you with scores. So later I will tell you. Now. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Mr. Leo. Okay. Let's go to the part three of. Yeah, the part three. So I'll be giving you more questions about our topic, okay? And uh, try to talk as much as you can, For uh, but of course, it has to be relevant with our topic. Now, can you tell me, should people go in for sports more? Uh, yes, of course, because there are many benefits uh, in sports. Like well, doing sports, you can not only get a healthy body, but also but also to uh, to also to to get out of stress mm. and now i think our people our generation are living in a, such a fast speed a uh, fast speed time and the uh, internet and the re and the, the economic problems there are many problems in our life so if people do more sports i think that it, that will be uh, that will be great for the decrease of the mental problem and also the body, the physics problem. So that's all. Yes. Okay. So which sport is the best for people who aren't used to work out? Uh, it is said that soccer is the the best sport in the world. Mm -hmm. And actually, as a soccer player, I do think so. But in my opinion... The jogging maybe is the most effe uh, efficient, efficient, and mo and the most uh, beneficial sports in the mm -hmm. people like me living in urban because the soccer fields need to be built, and the soccer needs a bunch of people to play. So I think jogging is the best way for the most people, the the majority, uh, to do it by by themselves maybe. By themselves, uh, maybe at home by themselves, maybe doing it at home, doing it at the streets near your your apartment, and I think yoga is also a great one. Yoga and jogging because yoga can relax yourself, and there is a uh, a beautiful magic and the cultural sign in yoga. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So why some people enjoy sports more than other things? Uh, because those people, maybe in my opinion, maybe those people are carrying them their body more. Like mm. me, in my family, my daddy is most like a sport guy, so he care himself more. And the mo and the somebody they love sports, but they don't have time, so they cannot enjoy sports as much as the people who who can do sports every day and who have the condition to do sports every day. And in my opinion, everyone should do sports more. Yeah, there shouldn't be somebody is doing more sports than others. We should make sports a habit for all of us. Yeah. Okay, wow, very good. Thank well, <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Leo, for taking this examination and that would be the end for our examination, okay? <laughs> yeah, such a nervous time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay yes very good okay you did well here now i will tell you your score ah can you tell me how old are you oh i'm 16 are you in senior high school junior high school 
Uh, junior high. Grade 10. Uh, yes, grade 10. Okay, yeah. well, you're okay. Counting like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, hmm. Okay. So, for your fluency and coherence, uh, I will, I am give, you are very good in terms of um, speaking, connecting your sentences, the transition, using the linking words, sign points, it's very good. And the mo and most of all, you were able to extend your answers and you add all the relevant details. That is very good. I can say anything about it. Yeah, that's 8.5. Okay. It's really Ooh. very good. Yes. That's a lot. Yes. Yeah. That's more than I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how good is your vocab? I sorry, <laughs> sorry. It's not that's not the fluency and coherence. It's the lexical resource. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, and uh, your fluency and coherence is eight. I sorry. Yeah, the lexical resource is your eight point five. So eight then there. Okay. Okay, and then your pronunciation. I just heard. So uh, I think I cannot recall the exact words, but I counted. There there are like around four words where you mispronounce, okay? So that means oh. to say you still have to work out on your pronunciation, okay? Yeah. Okay. And when you, when, uh, you speak, uh, the intonation is good, but you just have to stress the words and sentences that are important. You have to, oh. you have to put emphasis, okay? Yes, and for that part, mm. it's a seven. And then, yeah, because it's not bad at all. And for your, yeah, and your grammar, in your grammar, um, though you have the ability to construct or to structure your your sentences or your grammar, there are still mm -hmm. minimal, you know, there, there are still few errors and that gives you uh, 7.5. So, yeah, because actually, actually, I can see your future in terms of speaking in your IELTS. I think you're going to get 9. I, I just think. <laughs> yeah, Thank because you. yeah, because you're really good in speaking. Yeah, I wish I wish I wish to have more time. You know why? Because I want to check on your listening. Oh yeah, my listening is is so so. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I will use my. Yeah, I cannot use my computer's calculate to. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I can do it for you. So, so you just plus them all and and divide into three. Right? <laughs> four, four, four. Oh, divide into four. Yeah, because Seven, there are four of them. Five, and eight point five, and and what's more? What's the, the object? Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, the band is seven point seventy five, and. 7.75 and that is 8 rounded oh, off to 8 yeah. oh yeah because they will not give you 7.75 only 7.7 uh 7.5 but that will yeah. be rounded off to 8 and when you say 8 you are a very good user of the language okay, okay. That's for your speaking. Oh, thank you. Okay, so when you say a uh, very good user, it means you have fully operate, uh, fully operational command of the language with only occasional. Yes, this is right for you. Uh, occasional systematic yeah. in. In a curious and in appropriateness or appropriate appropriacy. Sorry, the spelling. Yeah, sorry. I needed. I need to write this down because I will send this yeah. one to the WeChat. Okay, and yeah, misunderstandings may occur. Actually, there there are no misunderstandings. <laughs> no. Yeah, this is only the, the the definition of the very good user. I need to send it this out to you, most especially in WeChat. And you can handle complex, detailed arguments 
well. That is the meaning of your score or your uh, very good user thing. Yeah, in fact, you still manage, I mean, uh, in, in eight, there is still room for mistakes. How much more if we don't make mistakes? So that's nine. <laughs> yeah, you cannot just, uh, all native speakers, they cannot make no mistake that that's too 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 hard yeah <laughs> yeah you know you know hard. where you know i i i because i have here my result in ielts this one oh yeah let and me then, see you. yeah and and at the back this are the definition of band nine eight seven so oh, yes. i have to write it down for you there so you will know okay okay so that's for your speaking and then, hmm. yeah, let me, oh, why? Oh, there, there, there. <laughs> why? My God, too bad. <laughs> okay, later I will, I will co copy paste that. Okay, I will, I will give you a glimpse of listening, okay? Yeah. Get a, bo uh, get a pen and paper, please. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Here we go. Papers. Okay. I will share to you my screen. Yeah. Screen and screen and my computer's sound or audio. Okay. Oh, I can see it now. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but but wait. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, but wait because Okay. You can see this one here. This is IELTS listening test 5 because there are a lot of it. That's 5 6 7. Yeah. So for the for this one test, we have in the in the, in general, I mean in even in the in in the actual in the real examination, you will have four sections mm -hmm. for the listening test. So I'm going to click section one. Section one composed of 10 questions. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm going to play this one. So this is the first section of the IELTS listening test. The listening module consists of four sections and it takes yeah. 40 minutes. <clears throat> Meaning to say uh, one minute per, quest per question. So yeah, as you finish, you can mm -hmm. you can uh, as you as we finish this one, you you've written there your answers in your paper. You tell me, I will write it for you here, so we can get the score. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. And so, do I have time to skim the the, the questions? No, you will only you will only hear it once. No, no. I, I'm. Uh, do I have time? Like, ah, yes, yes, yes. The, yeah, the, the questions. The questions. Yes, give me the questions. Yeah, questions. yeah. Okay, because that will be part of the instruction. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's go. But sorry, I think it doesn't have any volume. Okay. First, you have some <laughs> Okay, <two>. sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, go. Section one. You will hear a man renting an apartment over the phone. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. Yeah, but we will have to wait for your audio to speak <laughs> because it's counted. You can see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hello, how can I help you? Hello, I want to rent an apartment. I saw your advertisement about two-bedroom apartment on Bridge Street. The woman answers the phone. Bridge Street, so the word bridge has been written on the top of the form. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully, and answer questions one to five. Hello, how can I help you? Hello, I want to rent an apartment. 
I saw your advertisement about two-bedroom apartment on Bridge Street. Bridge Street 32, that's it? Exactly. But I have a couple of questions. Yes, I'm listening. Does rent include all the utilities? Such as gas, electricity, phone, etc.? Yes, sure. You are only responsible to pay the rent. The lease includes cost for such utilities as gas, heat, water, electricity and phone. Great. And what about the internet? Unfortunately, the internet is not connected. But you shouldn't worry about that. If you wish, you can contact the local providers to set up the connection. Okay. And what kind of public transport is near the apartment? It is very close to public transport. Both underground and bus station are about two blocks away. Very good. I think I'll rent this apartment. Very nice. Could you tell me your full name, please? Yes. It's John Hooper. Hooper is spelled with double O. H double O. Then P E R. Thank you, John. I'm Mary Dixon, and I'll be your apartment manager. Thank you. Now listen, and answer question 6 to 10. Now, we need to meet to sign a lease agreement. Okay. What documents should I bring? Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, the, the, the time, the, the, yeah, the, the doc, time, yeah, the you have to, you, yeah. yeah, the time that yeah. the, the speaker was not speaking, that was actually the time you can uh, go over with this but actually you can uh, actually the time was given for you to to write your answers in the real examination or to finalize mm -hmm. your answer to one to five and then you can skim on here so no. in this one you just have to choose three letters from a to f okay and this one choose one choose one okay so maybe we can continue okay now listen and answer question six to ten Now, we need to meet to sign a lease agreement. Okay. What documents should I bring? First of all, we require proof of your identity. Then, I can bring my driving license. I'm sorry, but driving licenses are not accepted. Could you bring your passport? Yes, sure. And do you require a tax bill? No, we are not requiring any bills. But you need to present your current employment contract. No problem. I have it. Anything else? Yes. We also need a reference from a friend or colleague, confirming your character. Okay. And what about a reference from an employer? We used to ask tenants for this reference a few years ago. But now we don't need it anymore. As well as your recent payslips, they are not required. Very good. I think I have all the documents. Is it possible to meet you today? Yes. Is 5.30 p.m. convenient for you? Unfortunately, I'm busy until 6 p.m. Then we can meet at 6.30 p.m. Yes, 6.30 is very good for me. I'll be at your office by that time. I think it's better to meet directly at your future apartment, because we'll anyway make a visit. Oh, you're right. See you soon. Thank you. See you soon. Okay. That is the end of section one. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, uh, so can you tell me what's your answer for number one? Uh, the number one is 32. 32? Yeah. Okay, how about number two? Uh, two is electricity. Okay, number three. Number three is internet. Internet. Uh, number bus? four? Bus. Yeah. Number five. John Hooper with double O. <laughs> yeah. Can you spell it out? Uh, H O O P E R Hooper for double okay, O. Okay, <laughs> that's right. How about for number six to eight? Just three. Uh, it's B D E for. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, nine. There's C for nine. And 10 is B. I'm, I'm not sure about that because, yeah. I'm, 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 okay, I'm... let's try. Let's check. Wow. Okay, <laughs> okay that's, a... that's 9 over 10. Why? Okay, wait. Why not internet? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 sorry. Actually, I... Sorry. <laughs> because the... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my... my... Wait, wait, wait. My computer is lagging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because okay. I I okay. pressed I pressed the shift window S to the screenshot on this part. Okay, mm. yeah. So wait. <laughs> oh no. No, yeah, that's okay. Okay, just just seconds, please. Okay. Yeah, can't believe the number ten I got it right. I only heard futures apartment, but I'm not really sure about that. <laughs> Yeah, because sometimes you can hear you can hear and you thought it's the answer, but at the at the next conversation it was a no, it's not accepted. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. you don't have to bring this and that. You don't need this and that. So I, you just maybe thought that. Yeah. Okay. So, the answer is oh no, that's too bad. It's still internet, yeah. but it has to be. Capital, capital letter. Oh my yeah, goodness. This is, this is right because I wrote here. Yeah. Internet. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. I didn't. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Sorry. But there, that, yeah. Maybe you get it then. <laughs> if ju I just. I thought actually. Yeah. I thought So be... that's it. If you were not able to write the words correctly, for example, the capitalization and the small letters. Yeah. It's going to be bad. Okay, sorry for yeah, I have quite it in reading section. I say I'll uh, reading reading section. I think the reading and the writing is is harder than these two because you know mm. in the reading that that's really hard. <laughs> yeah, but but I think this is easy. But uh this text this section is easy. Yeah. In the first, it's easy it, because in the first section is really easy, and then you will encounter more at the third, fourth, and maybe we can do that in our next meeting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we exceeded to five minutes already, but it's okay with me. Yeah. No problem. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank Ooh. you. I can see your future in IELTS. I think you're going to get a score not below eight, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or me, maybe my... seven and above. <laughs> everything. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, yeah. of course. You are very good in your in this language, and I think you can do more or better soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank if you. So. Have a good night. Thank you so much for the time. Bye. 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 Bye.